couple of quick points on the muscle up. Um, now this is only for people who have a strict muscle up and are looking to improve it. If you're if you're still working towards that, there's a bunch of other progressions and, and this won't apply. Um, but the idea is to begin improving that position that you're pulling and pressing out of. When you first get it, oftentimes this pull and the whole body kind of collapses and you end up in this position that where you're almost doing like a bench press or push-up type position to get out. That's generally where you're strongest, pressing here, than you are here. Uh, but ideally, you're going to keep what's called a hollow body position, and that is the entire body, it's kind of like a long, straightish banana. <laughs> um, you're not arching and you're not collapsing down. Um, now to do this, and you may have to work this um, from, the, from the top down as a negative to start, but once you've got a couple of strict muscle ups, you can start stringing them together. You really want to work on maintaining a tight body, the toe point, quads, glutes, core tucked down, and you just pretty much from here down as one solid unmoving unit. It will substantially increase the challenge on this movement, so it's something to work towards, but ideally when you're going up and down, it's just your arms that are moving. Um, I've already got a ton of reps in, so hopefully this uh, will look okay, but I'll demonstrate. Extend, body's tight. Uh, this is sort of a, an assistance movement for developing good position when pulling through the muscle up um, to kind of help prevent that collapsing of form. And that's simply to have just a little resistance on the toes. Um, now if you're not using resistance, toe point is great, but just that little hook, um, you can have a friend, you know, just put their fingers on there. Just a little bit of a load. Here I've got two uh, four kilogram kettlebells, just hooking, hooking them in the toes. Using that to help kind of elongate the body. help prevent you from collapsing when you get to that dip. Just another thing to lengthen the body. Now this is a, uh, a movement my buddy Mike Hollister likes. Um, it's a uh, muscle up to um, an L raise or like a, an L sit position but you're doing the straight leg raise for reps. Um, it's great for developing some hip flexor strength and uh, obviously some abdominal strength. Uh, Up, externally rotate, raise, just to keep the toe point. Another thing that will help your muscle up is just to work the transition. Uh, generally I would recommend doing this at the beginning of the training set. For me this is uh, a bit later, hopefully I'll be able, actually be able to do it. Uh, but the idea is you pull up to here, get underneath, or get on top of the rings, back to underneath, back on top, going back and forth. I hope I can even do a couple reps at this point. It's very challenging. See, uh, it's tucked a bit. Um, ideally, you'd be long, just working here. I don't think I have it in me today, but uh, that's just the idea. It's just working that little part. Obviously, with some full body, full lockout movements, but just working through there, getting more comfortable, um, will definitely help. Because if you have to do some giant pull and you just throw yourself through there. Um, you're really missing out because there's a huge amount of strength gain and it's almost the focus on a muscle up is that transitional strength through here versus just a big pull on a big press. Now the uh, muscle up is often held in fairly high regard as a skill and it is hugely challenging. Um, 
but really it's just a way to get up on top of the rings to do a whole bunch of other stuff. But obviously you have to learn the muscle up and be confident in that before you're safe doing anything else. Um, one strength building technique on the muscle up, once you have a few strict muscle ups and that type of thing, you can start expanding your kind of repertoire techniques and skills for building strength, is to basically leave the pull out of it and just work the transition and the dip um, for reps. So obviously you got to get up top of the rings. Uh, this is, again, towards the end of my training set, so hopefully I can do enough to get the idea. But you can pull up, do a full muscle up, come back down just to here, and then get back on top, skipping that full extension. Now, obviously, you generally get more benefit from the full range of motion movement, but building really confident strength on that transition to press out as a specific aspect of the strength building for the muscle up will get you a lot of progress, um, especially you start to fatigue. Um, it's kind of hitting the hardest parts, and so specifically working those hardest parts will give you a lot more strength. So the idea. Probably should have locked out all of those, but um, this is generally your finished position. Enjoy.